Hey friends, welcome back to another YouTube video of me playing The Sims on my Inspiron 1520. We are here with Amanda Levy and we're just going to play this family while we talk about the weekly updates and you know, just what's going on with me and my kiddo and any exciting news that might be going on who's on the what's it's and so on and so forth and such like that all right well you're doing pretty good well we'll, we'll just get this out of the way and okay uh so before we get into weekly updates and just talking about what we've been up to this week and such like that don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe uh, if you guys like this video and, and want to see more content. And holy Toledo, you're going to be old really soon. That's sad. And whoa, you're going to be old before the baby is done. Or around the, actually around the same time because they can, you know. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <gasps> me and rambling okay so um it has been a pretty busy week for us well for me I just dove right into the editing like I I have been oh my goodness I've been dreaming about editing it's just all I've been thinking about it kind of crazy actually I really enjoy it I think I am sort of kind of getting the hang of it I know I still have a lot to learn uh, but other than that I think it I uh, it I still have a lot to learn <laughs> but hey at least I can cut a 20 minute video down to 10 minutes by just cutting out my long pauses. Oh, it's so annoying sometimes when I can like hear the words that are in my head, but I just can't like say them. It's, yeah, I don't know why I went down. I need to go back up. Why did you do that? Because you do things. You do things, that's why. Uh, yeah. We went to Ikea a couple weeks ago and then just kind of like looked at the different beds and stuff. Uh, so we went last weekend, we went on Saturday, and we went to actually purchase a bed, but they didn't have that bed that we wanted in stock. So they told us to come back on Friday. Yeah, so it's a double bed for her if she really likes it. it the Ikea beds, they're like super low to the ground. Like they are really low to the ground. But straight up the bed plus the mattress is $150. So hey, awesome. Now that we have that, all them, all these guys figured out. Okay, so yeah, the beds, they're really super low to the ground, but it's for $150 and then for $50 or $60 extra, I can't remember right now, they'll deliver. So awesome, right? So I'm gonna, uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna go tomorrow while the kiddo is still in school. Because normally we go on the weekend, Ikea, going to Ikea is fun. So we just go on the weekend. But, uh, I'll just go tomorrow, hopefully it won't be as busy as it is on the weekend. Like, it's so busy on the weekend. So hopefully when I go during the week, it won't be as busy. Uh, and then I can, then the beds won't be sold out again. Because <laughs> they are, they're $150. It's like $149, right, plus tax. So it'll be like 200 bucks. For the bed for a double bed for her and it's a nice bed with the frame and mattress of course I'm gonna get that for her right serve dinner what are you gonna have why don't you have spaghetti because that's fine quick and easy easy peasy lemon squeezy I'm actually really excited for that I'd like to get more things for her, but we're just gonna start with that and then slowly 
make her room her own. She, you know, she wants to kind of become her own, which is her, which I, that's natural. I just, I'm so, so all about it. Uh, she wants to, uh, do, like, go shopping and find her own kind of style and just be her own person. And I, it's really exciting to see. She wanted to go to the mall um, during the weekend and get her ears done, her ears pierced. Uh, she has her her bottom, like her lobes done. She wanted the top of her cartilage pierced. Um, and so we went and did that. And she got two done. So uh, I guess they're called um, spider bites. So she got that, which I'm, I, I, I'm so happy for her. Like I, like I, I really like the fact that she is like becoming her own person and she wants to express her individuality and I'm really just, I'm here for it. <laughs> so here for it. It's really cool. So far, I think being a mom that when your kids are old enough to really express who they are, it's it's my favorite part. This is my favorite part so far of like I, I really did like the toddler years because they're just so cute, especially when they're like two before they're potty trained and they just had like that cute little diaper bum. <sighs> yeah, of course, you know, you know you're a mother when you talk about little baby diaper bums. <laughs> like her going and doing things is for her own and getting her room done and just being her own person it, it really it's a big goal for her and it's a big goal for me to help her get to do that it gets it's great it's a goal for this house the shitty part about this week is um that my grandfather he's been sick for a while and he entered host and i have sort of touched on this a little bit but i'm not overly close with my family. Uh, I don't speak to really any of them. I won't be able to get to go see him. I'm, I'm close with him. I still, you know, have a good relationship with him. It's, it's my mother and her sisters, my sister. And a lot of shit has happened. And the thing is, is how I found out is they, no one called me. No one told me. My sister emailed my daughter and told my daughter. And then in the email, it was just like, and I can't take you to see him. And it's like, we weren't even going to ask you. Like, that's something we would never do. <laughs> Definitely not ask you. You are the last person in this world we would ask. Yeah, Shane went and visit you for March break and whatever. Do think that we trust you at all, or I trust you to be alone with you for any amount of time. Yeah, no, not at all. It's just like I have no really words. I don't even like. I don't even know where he is at. Like, cause no one's told me. But if we can find out, we would take a bus to see him. We don't need them. It's not, it's not about the people that we want no contact with. It's not about those family members at all. It's about being able to see my grandfather before he died. The last time I saw my grandfather was at my grandmother's funeral, 2019. And my daughter went and got her retakes done for her grad photos because last month we didn't have our money yet and no one could lend me the $40, so... So she decided to take her retake so she would, um, so we could order them when I had the money, which is smart, smart kid. So, uh, she got her retakes and they came in yesterday or, well, the, 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 uh, whatever it's called, the word that I'm not thinking, can't think of, um, the sample pictures, right? They came in and actually I'm really glad that she got her retakes because she looked better in these pictures. She looked really pale in the last pictures. 
I think it was just her come like she was just coming back from having COVID and not feeling well and stuff, right? I think she likes the second picture. And because um it shows the right side of her face. She has that right angle. I like her the left the, where it shows her left angle. Like if not that she you know has a, a better angle or one or one side it's better she actually is pretty symmetrical. I I just like the the way like she has a, a better stance and it's a better look on her her face and like she's just, like smiling better and her hair looks better and even her she's got a cute little necklace on and even that like it, it all looks better. Uh but she prefers the second picture which um and I think that, you know what, that's fine. I I don't mind, really, because I like them all. So I don't, I don't care. <laughs> I'll get them all. I'm like, can I order every single one? Can I just order one of each picture? <laughs> yeah, I, I have a bunch of her school pictures all around the house. I, you know, she hates it, but I'm like, they're not for you, they're for me. So... Here's a funny story. When we went to go and buy her bed, we were waiting for the bus to go to Ikea. This dude, like, I noticed him walking, uh, like, okay, so the way the the sidewalk area is, is there's um, kind of like a little intersection, uh, but, I don't know, just down yonder, not that far, like a couple, a block away or so, right? Uh, so there's an intersection there, and then there's a small little intersection, not too far, maybe about 50 feet from where the bus stop is, right? So um, I I was just, I was looking around and just kind of like waiting for the bus and taking in the scenery because it's pretty around here, and I did I saw the dude walk like crossing the street and he was walking and he was like walking normally and so he gets to the power pole and starts like shuffling his feet like you hear him and like I look up and he's running he's running so I'm like okay whatever no big deal but like I didn't even really realize this until after like he get he kind of sort of slowly jogs in front of Shane and I and he goes, sorry, ladies, I got to do this here. And he jumped, like, does pull-ups on the bus station, like, on the little side of the thing. And he, like, does, like, four or five little pull-ups. And Shane and I are just like, um, okay. We just kind of, like, look down at our feet and, um, don't really say anything or do anything. We don't look up or anything. He like does the four or five pull ups, and then he like walks over to like okay, so right in front of the building um, or the bus uh, stop, little station, little overhead thing. Um, over to the side is a building that used to be. Hey, voice editing Emily here. I had told the story wrong. The guy didn't continue to run after the eraser. He did his little pull-ups in front of us, went over to the eraser, stretched, looked over at us like we should be like looking at him in awe or whatever. Noticed that we hadn't even looked up from staring at our shoes and then walked away in defeat. He didn't continue to run after that, like I said in this part of the story. He walked away defeated from the eraser. So that is the story of the pathetic guy. As like, you'll see at the corner of my eye, I'm still looking down, he like, looks over at us, and I like, um, uh, I mean, he like runs, so like how sort of sort of jogs away or whatever, right? And he jogs up over like across the little intersection, the other intersection that's right by the bus stop. And then as soon as he gets past the crosswalk, he like st 
stops running and then continually walks until he's out of sight. And it's like, what the heck? And Shane and I look at each other and we're just like laughing, laughing. Like, what the hell was that? And then, like, he was, he just looked so defeated. <laughs> Unimpressed, defeated. <laughs> What a freaking creep. Yeah. It was... It was really weird. <laughs> I don't even... I, I think that's pretty much all I can say about it. It was just really, really weird. Yeah. And we, we laughed about it pretty much the whole day. <laughs> yeah. Just defeated. Okay. So I think I'm just going to end it here. Um, but I would like to thank you guys for sticking around and hanging out with me while I play The Sims and talk about my life and my kid's life and what we've been doing and just whatever. Uh, so I will be back really soon with another video.